So namaste everyone, good morning, good afternoon, and in my case, good evening, wherever you may be across the planet, around the globe. My name is Greg Prescott from in5d.com. Actually, it's backwards. If I go like this, there. <laughs> and like this, <laughs> my name is Greg Prescott from in5d.com. And you're joining me live right now. And I want to talk to you guys about what's going on with this strange anomaly that's happening with my TV. Um, I had this happen, I don't know, a few days ago. And here we are once again, and the same thing is happening. Now, I know that earlier today, I'll give you a screenshot of this, if I can. Uh, we had some zoom in resonance uh, energy that came in right here. And what was really interesting too, is you can see like this rainbow wave right here. Isn't that cool? Can you guys see that? Now you don't normally see that right there. It's usually up on top, but you have this like rainbow wave down here that I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so what I'm looking at is once again, I'm going to show you guys what's going on with the TV. So I have the remote in my hand and it won't turn on until I get near it. And then once I'm near the TV, there it goes. <laughs> you see that? Now here's, here's the remote. I'll change the channel. This is the singer, uh, Singers and Swing channel. I listen to this one as well as the Soundscape channel. I enjoy both of them. But I like this channel too. So here's the remote. And as I walk away, you'll watch the TV shut off. See that? Now let's, we'll change the channel. I'll move back and we'll change the channel to the soundscapes. So that'll be my last channel. Click that. Now we should be on soundscapes and I'll just put the remote right here. Um, yeah. Now soundscapes is on. Nothing in my hand. As I walk away, you'll see it turn off. When I get close back to it again, it turns back on. You can hear it. It should come back on too. There, there it is. Crazy, absolutely crazy. Um, one of the people that was following this thread was telling me that she thinks it's because uh, you know our bodies are, are turning crystalline, and as emitters receivers and uh you know we admit and we we receive energy and with this energy that's coming in is it possible that it's playing into what we're what's happening with our electronics makes you wonder so once again here i am right here and the tv goes back on again this like i said this happened i don't know four or five days ago something like that and uh and then everything was fine. And then we had this energy wave come in again. So I got to go back and take a look at perhaps the Schumann resonance and, or, you know, maybe solar flares or something like that. As we're picking up and receiving photons and cosmic energy, it's affecting our electronics. Bam. There it is. Walk away. Bam. It's off. Back on. Nothing in my hands. And when I walk a couple steps away, off it goes. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? Isn't it? How do you spell that? I-N-N-I-T? Isn't it? <laughs> so a quick uh, shout out to Courtney, Kimberly, Jill, Jim, Jim Brady, Upstate New York, Diane, Valerie, Etoy, Crystal, <laughs> Lance, uh, Vicky, Catherine, Michelle, Carol, and Christy, and Ben, Kim, Rochelle, Jackie. Wow, a lot of people are actually able to see this. Maybe I am no longer shadow banned. I actually have like 60 people here. That's really cool. Hey, Linda, Mar Marie, Robin, Adriana, Natalie, Megan. This is great. 
This is great. I'm, I'm excited that I'm, I can actually communicate with you guys now and I'm not being shadow banned. Awesome. <laughs> We're doing something right. But if you're just tuning in, this happened. I posted on it earlier this week. I think I posted the article on Monday. But it happened, I think, last week, a few days beforehand. When I walk by the TV, it automatically turns on. Now you can hear it, and now you can see it. And like I said, the remote's right here. It's down by the TV over there, so. And like I said, when I walk away, bam, it's off. And then I come back here, goes back on again. Crazy. And, you know, Susan is saying that we're vibrating at a higher vibration. I think that's true. You know, and this is a lot of the work that we're doing, too. Um, and that's one of the main things that, you know, my guys have been telling me to pass along to you guys is, uh, you know, maintain that high vibration. Uh, love, forgive, you know, all that good stuff. Ground, you know, um, and everything will be okay. But it's just like a reflection of, you know, energy. It's all energy right now. And... There it is. And as I walk away, it shuts off. <laughs> Some of these um, comments are funny. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad that you all could join me right now. So I just found it very interesting. I thought I'd share it with you guys as I walk closer to the TV and you guys can hear it. And you can see it, it's backwards because I gotta turn my phone around. There. So this is what I'm actually seeing on Soundscapes. So Hopefully I gotta stand next to it. And you can see the remote right there. But it's always your next move, Napoleon Hill, which is, that guy was actually before The Secret, before The Secret was actually en vogue. He was the one that really um, started pushing, you know, what you put out comes back to you. And there's a couple articles on N5D from, uh, based on Napoleon Hill's work. Uh, but this is called Soundscapes. It's a really cool, um, if you're gonna watch TV, and I know that it does put out EMFs and stuff, but if you're gonna have it on and you like to have that ambient music playing, I recommend this. And they have cool quotes here. Pain is inevitable, suffering is opt uh, optional. And this is the other channel I listen to. It's a swing channel. Let's see. Hang on. There we go. For some reason, I, I started listening to swing. I think I had another walk-in about two, three months ago. And it must have been from an earlier era <laughs> because anyone that knows me knows I like hard rock, but this is what I'm listening to, you know, for the last couple months. Strange. So, yeah. I enjoy this channel. So I'm going to change the channel. And I'm going to walk away. The remote's right there. Nothing in my hand. The only thing in my other hand is the telephone. And as you can see, it just turned off. And as I walk closer back here, it's going to turn right back on again. Bam. Crazy. So what I'm curious about, though, is anyone else experiencing anything like this lately? You know, are you guys going through this? Um, it's, I'm finding this really, really bizarre that it's, it's happening like this. I can't get it to play unless I stand right next to it. You know, and you've seen, I, I can change the channels. It doesn't matter what channel I'm on. It just goes back to <laughs> either nothing or if I go next to it, it plays again. So I'm just curious if this is happening. Uh, Kimberly is saying, that's nothing. Wait till suddenly there's personal messages addressed to you by your name being typed across your screen. Happened to me five years ago at a hotel. That would be pretty freaky, Kimberly. I couldn't imagine that. <laughs> and Susan's saying, Gear shifts for you, Greg. 
from that rock and roll to this music indeed. Yeah, big time. You know, I've got my, my guitar over here and, you know, I, I play it every day. I'm, in the morning, I'll take the guitar and I'll listen to the high pitch frequency that's going on and I'll figure out what the high pitch frequency is and then I report on it every day. Um, I, I was listening to Aluna Ash and it was funny because her latest update actually coincided what she was posting with her energy report um, actually coincided with what the high pitch frequency frequencies were uh, for the last several days. So I thought that was really interesting. So kind of saying I'm just losing days or it seems like time doesn't pass for hours. There's something I, for me, sometimes you know, I might take a nap and it'll feel like, or even go to bed at night. I don't know if you guys have experienced this, but you go to bed at night and it feels like you slept all night, but when you wake up, it might've been only an hour or so. And time is really, really strange right now. Uh, it's interacting very oddly with us right now. So are you guys experiencing any kind of like time anomalies or lapses in time or periods of time where you know you blink your eye and then maybe a lot of time has expired and you're like where did where did all that time go so debbie's saying that her car radio computer screen is going crazy every time she gets in the car it screeches full blast then my navigation turns off by itself and she went into the repair shop and they reset the computer tried everything and it's still acting up, apparently. Wow. Yeah. So it is, you know, there are some strange computer uh, electronics anomalies. There's people that, you know, they have that much energy where they walk by a light and the light just, bam, goes out on them. I've heard that with people walking underneath lamp posts at night. They're like, you know, the lamp posts are just going pop, pop as they walk by. Diane's saying, have you been looking in the sky? Yeah. Um, I had a dream. I look at, I look at the sky a lot uh, this time of the year because of Orion's belt. I had a dream, I don't know, maybe four or five months ago where I was looking up at the sky and I saw Orion's belt. And you know how it kind of looks like a, almost like an hourglass, the way, you know, you got the three stars in the middle and then you got kind of have like the triangles on each end. Well, when I was looking up at the sky, they were all lighting up like, like lights on a pinball machine. It was really cool. And I, I just felt like something major was about to happen. And that dream to me kind of said that, okay, as this energy is coming in, it's going to light up everything in the sky before it actually gets to us. And then when it gets to us and everything beyond, they'll be seeing, you know, whatever planets are beyond us that can actually see us in the sky. We'll be seeing the same thing that I'm seeing, which would be the lighting up of the stars in the sky, like a pinball machine. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And I do look at the sky often. And Susan's saying, I wondered how you knew the pitch when I got your report. Yeah, that's, that's how I do it um, right now. And it's for me, these high pitch frequencies, they never stop. I constantly hear them. And sometimes it's so distinct. You'll hear like a shift change in your ear. Other times it's, it's a mellow transition from one pitch to another. Rarely is it ever the same pitch when I wake up in the morning as it was the day before. And that's why I'm recording all this. Like right now, that's what I'm hearing, but it's on a much higher octave than that. And I can tell you what the note is if I can put my phone down for a sec. That's it. So, and that's how I figure out what the octaves are. Like this morning when I woke up, it was a D. Um, and it's changed, so it's constantly changing. And even though, like in the morning when I post that, that's the predominant um, high pitch frequency that I heard at that time. We'll see if this stays the same 
tomorrow from the tone I just heard and what it is tomorrow. <laughs> Christine saying, next ETs will come knocking on your door. I hope so. Well, they don't have to knock. They can just appear in my living room if they're benevolent. Uh, Jenny's saying, that's my pattern as well. After an hour, I wake up. Last night, I lost four hours. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, a lot of us, I know, at least for me, a lot of us are experiencing what I call leaky ear. And it's like a drainage in the ear. But it has gotten significantly better in the last couple days, which is good. Um, but my sleeping patterns are like all over the place. And most of the time, you know, when I take a nap, my naps are probably two or three hours. But when I go to bed at night, I'll go to bed, you know, gosh, last week I went, I was in bed twice before nine o'clock, right around 830 or beforehand. And I'd wake up around one o'clock and I'd stay up all morning. And so the sleep patterns, patterns are all over the place as well. Let's go test the TV and see if that's still doing the same thing here. Okay. Walking closer, closer, closer. You can hear it. And there it is. Crazy, huh? Cindy's saying that her crystals have been active lately. Very cool. Just checking out some of the comments here. And you know, as I walk away, yeah, you know, TV shuts off once again, of course. <laughs> Robin's saying, wow, I thought I was alone. Gosh. And that's why it's so important that, you know, when you're experiencing stuff and, you know, you think that it's only you, chances are it's not. A lot of us are going through this. It's probably not a lot of people, you know, that um, are unawakened are experiencing what you're experiencing. But when you talk about it and you put it out there and you know, make a update on your Facebook page or something like that, you'll find that a lot of people are going through what you're going through as well. You know, we're, I find that a lot of times when I experience something very strange, several other people also experience it. Like, for example, I had that dream of the three tidal waves and I made a video of this, you know, gosh, back in 2014, 2015, something like that. And so many other people had the same dream of, seeing at least one tidal wave come, and, but yet there was no fear. When, when that tidal wave was coming, it was complete, they were completely calm. And, uh, you know, and basically that dream was about energy. It wasn't a wave, it wasn't a flood, it was just a wave of energy. And several people, gosh, at least five people that I know of, said they also had the dream of three tidal waves like I had. So when you put that stuff out there, you, you never know who's going to come back and say, yeah, me too, me too, me too. So put that out there. Um, let people know what you're going through because chances are somebody else is going through the same thing as you are. Okay, just scrolling on the comments. So Nelia is saying that her phone was charged, but then... 10 minutes later, it's on half charge. <laughs> so yeah, I can see that happening. Quick shout out to Georgia and Deb Rod Rodriguez from upstate New York. Got some upstate New York people here, Yashman, Tanya. Quick shout out to everyone, Barbie. Christine saying certain stars are points lighting up in your body. That's a very interesting uh, proposition there because I've seen people that actually have like certain constellations on their body in numerous places. Debbie's saying I also get zapped with everything she touches. Electric shocks her. And <laughs> she's saying, I guess I have too much energy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's a bad thing, though, Deb. A lot of people get shocked. Yeah. Because we have so much energy. 
Okay, so Susan says she's going to candle her ears. I guess she's going through the leaky ear as well. But according to Aluna, uh, she was saying that the leaky ear is one of the ascension symptoms. So as crazy as it feels, you know, especially when you're trying to sleep and you hear that like suctioning sound that <laughs> when you're trying to sleep on your ear, um, you get used to it, kind of. Uh, let's, let's check out the TV, see what's going on here. I hear it. And there it is. Not everybody can be famous, but everybody can be great because greatness is determined by service. I have so, so many cool quotes on here. Like I said, that's soundscapes. And I know it's backwards. Right now, I've got the live video back on selfie. Instead of pointing forward, we'll point it forward right now as I walk closer to the TV. And bam, there it goes. Soundscapes. <laughs> For some reason, I like this music. Or at least my walk-in likes that music. <laughs> I still enjoy the music I've always enjoyed, the hard rock. You know, the, well, classic rock, I guess it's called. You know, the whole Van Halen, White Snake, and all that kind of stuff. But it's kind of funny how I'm listening to swing now, too. I would actually enjoy watching a swing band play. If there was one in the area, that, I think that would be pretty cool. So Susan says she's a medium, and yes, off the chart readings right now. Awesome. Sleep patterns all, all over the place for Linda. <laughs> and Dana says, so much for sitting down and watching a movie tonight. Yeah, tell me about it. Yes, exactly, Kathy. Uh, Kathy Baker saying, as our bodies turn to crystalline, the crystals make us receivers and senders, transmitters of energy. Definitely, completely agree. And that's why you're, you're seeing this thing live. You know, as I get closer to the TV, I'm just, I don't know. I, it's hard to say, but it's using my energy or... It's working in conjunction with my energy to play. So. Crystal's saying that she's noticed this summer people being glitchy. I've noticed a lot of things that doesn't seem like there's like a lot of NPCs or, you know, these just people that are programmed into doing things that don't make sense anymore. For example, here in Sarasota, Florida, you see this turning on as I get near it. As I walk away, it shuts off. But here in Sarasota, we have this, um, it's called Tamiami Trail, and it's three lanes. And oftentimes I'll see a lot of people driving in the left-hand left lane of the third lane uh, of those three lanes yet the middle lane or the right lane will be completely empty. Everyone assumes that the left-hand lane is the passing lane, excuse me, the passing lane. But um, yeah, I'll just fly by them all right down the middle of the road. And it's not like anyone's necessarily turning because I'll look at my rear view mirror, no one's turning. They're all just going really slow in the left-hand lane as if they're programmed to do what everyone else is doing. It's crazy. It makes you wonder, you know, how many people are actually real anymore. And how many are just non-player characters, NPCs? So I'm really behind on the comments. Hey, Skylar. So yeah, and hello. Hi, Jill. Namaste. Welcome. And Gertrude. 
McGillicutty. So yeah, if you're just tuning in, this is what's happening. As I walk away from the TV, it shuts off. And as I walk next to it, up to it, it turns back on again. So it should, you can hear it, oh, and there it is. You know, this happened, I don't know, last week, and now it's happening again. Can't explain it, but it is what it is. So, when is asking, how's the beach? Haven't caught you in a few days. I haven't been doing beach reports. Um, it's been actually cold here. I'm, I'm wearing a thermal shirt right now. It's, um, I think the low is supposed to be in the low 40s, which is really cold for Florida. Um, <laughs> but uh, the red tide has cleared up. I did see dolphins uh, yes, uh, yesterday uh, swimming. Two dolphins were swimming close to the shoreline, so that's always a good sign. Have been seeing pelicans uh, diving in for minnows. So the beach is clearing up, although we did have a, a short bout of red tide, uh, I don't know, a few days ago, about four days ago or so. But it is clearing up. The water is getting uh, colder. <laughs> the water temperature, I think, is upper 60s now, which might not be bad if you live in like the northern states. That might not be bad in the summertime, but that's cold for us Floridians. And I know originally I, I was a New Yorker. I, I'm a Floridian now. I've been here long enough where I can say that I am since the early 2000s. So, uh, yeah, the water's cold. Uh, there's a lot of people still here. It's in season, so it traffic is constantly going back and forth. Um, it's, a, it's a pain in the ass driving off the island. So what I end up doing is I get everything I need to get in bulk and then I stay on the island I stay right here um, in my own little abode <laughs> and go to the beach to try to ground a little so even when it's cold out I try to get out there but I wasn't able to get out there today just the energy was all over the place today um, I ended up taking like a three-hour nap or longer I don't remember specifically how long it was uh, today but I ended up taking this really long nap today and uh so i'll probably be up until like two o'clock this morning unless it you know another energy wave comes in and just smacks me upside the head <laughs> so i'm not sure what you're asking susan she's susan saying what what's the initials mean when talking about the cars i'm not sure what you're asking but when you guys are driving, or even our passengers in a car, do you notice that, that there's all these synchronistic numbers all around you? You might see like 777 on a license plate, or 333, or 555, or 1111, or you see all these synchronistic numbers on, your, on the cars that are all around you. That happens to me so much, you know? It's like we're constantly creating our reality around us. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing long sleeves. It's cold here in Florida. Very cold. It's like I said, it's probably going to be in the low 40s today. Skylar's saying, so many beautiful shifts, exciting times, indeed. <laughs> I know that several people are expecting some major waves to come around. Um, around the 21st to 23rd, I think James Gilliland was one of those. People that were talking about that. I think Aluna Ash was another one that was talking about that. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen here. Uh, I know that I'll be speaking on a cruise uh, that goes from that goes from Tampa to Cozumel from the 17th until the 21st. <laughs> so maybe something magical will happen <laughs> when we're out on on the sea. So that's called the waves of light. Uh, cruise, which uh, one of my writers, Nicole Frolic, is organizing, and uh, I'll be there, and a bunch of people will, um, will also be there, too. You can find out more about that. I think it's at wavesoflight.org, or you can check out the, the link on N5D, and uh, I think there's still rooms available. I'm not sure. It might be sold out. I don't know, but if you want to join us, it'd be fun. So I'm going to be bringing my guitar there, and one of the 
Speakers is also a singer, so we're going to be jamming. That's going to be fun. We're just going to do that on the side. So. Oh my God. Linda's saying it, in Canada it's minus six Celsius. That's got, I don't, I'm not familiar too much with Celsius, but I know, well, zero is 33 here, so minus six Celsius has got to be like probably 20 degrees or less. It's maybe 18 degrees. I don't know. That's cold. I don't miss that. Scott was saying the uh, energy waves have been intense. They have, and I think that's what knocked my butt out earlier today when I ended up taking a nap. Um, the energy waves just got to me, and I slept a long time last night. I got a, got a good night's sleep, and I ended up sleeping even more today. And then earlier today, as I showed you when I first came on, uh, we had this big Schumann resonance, bam, energy blast that came to us. So I thought that was pretty cool. So anyway, I'm just gonna do it one more time and before signing off, like I said, nothing in the hand. As I walk closer to the TV, it automatically just comes on like that. And this happened once before and as I step away, it shuts off, crazy. So just wanna do that quick update. I wanna thank everyone uh, for joining me and for all your comments. I'll go through all the comments once I get done here. And I know I missed a lot of comments and uh, shout outs to everyone that's been here that was able to join us. I'm so grateful that we were able to get more than five people <laughs> when I was shadow banned. That's about how many I would get, if that. But we made it up to like 40 some odd people today or, or more. And I'm so grateful that you guys were all able to join me. So um, continue commenting. Uh, if you're watching this on the recorded version, comment below if you're experiencing any strange anomalies. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, remember to like and subscribe and uh, hit the bell notification to make sure that you get notified uh, whenever I have videos. So until the next time, I am sending you all infinite love and light. This is Greg from in5d.com and Zentasia.com. Peace.